Hi everybody, welcome back to the Movie Reviewers 100 uh, here on YouTube and on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, please visit our Facebook page to comment and offer suggestions for new themes, uh, which we tackle every week. This week's theme that I'm wrapping up right now is, of course, Meryl Streep, one of the most highly admired actresses uh, in uh, the entire world, uh, in English-speaking countries anyway. Um, she just scored her 18th Oscar nomination for uh, her lead role in uh, the movie August Osage County. Osage County, I think. Um, I was originally uh, thinking about doing um, a movie that she did about 11 years ago called The Hours, uh, which she co-starred with Julianne Moore and Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman actually won Best Actress for the movie, but her part is actually smaller than the other two, it seems. I don't know. Um, but August Osage County actually just came out here a couple weeks ago in Chicago, and um, the nominations for the Oscars just came out, and not only is Meryl Streep nominated, but Julia Roberts is nominated for Supporting Actress. And after seeing the movie, I have to say, Julia Roberts, if she was going to get a nomination, ought to get one for Lead Actress instead of Supporting. It's not unheard of. Both Susan Sarandon and Thelma Louise got Best Lead Actress nominations for, Thel uh, for Thelma Louise when that came out a bunch of years back. Um, so I think that uh, they pitched Julia Roberts for supporting because they figured she would be more likely to get a nomination for that than for lead actress with the competition being what it is. Anyway, um, so I wanted to talk about both of them. The Hours um, was not made for Best Picture, Best Director, a bunch of other Oscars. It was uh, adapted from a novel. Um, the film was directed by Stephen Daldry, who did um, uh, uh, Billy Elliot and extremely loud and incredibly close, and one other film that I can't recall. Um, he, uh, it, it's basically a triple timeline movie. You've got, uh, the, the first timeline takes place in 1931, uh, and uh, takes place in England, and involves the author, Virginia Woolf, who wrote the novel Mrs. Dalloway. Mrs. Dalloway's first name, the character's first name, happens to be Clarissa, and in the 2001 storyline, you have a woman named Clarissa, um, who's played by Meryl Streep, uh, who has been nicknamed Mrs. Dalloway. <laughs> um, and then you have the story which takes place in 1951, which stars Julianne Moore as a woman who is reading Mrs. Dalloway. Um, and, of course, her young son, who's like, I don't know, five, six years old, whatever, he grows up to be a character in the 2001 storyline. Um, Meryl Streep uh, is basically a woman who is in a relationship um, with Alice and Janney. They live together. They have a daughter who's played by Claire Danes. Uh, but she's had a long-standing uh, relationship with um, a poet by the name of Ed Harris, who has AIDS and is very sick and needs to be cared for. Um, they had... Um, a relationship, a romantic relationship, like over a summer, many, many years ago when they were younger. And she's sort of taken care of him since then. They've been close friends. Um, and he's, he's a poet who is due to get an award. Um, uh, and, she's been, and Meryl Streep's basically uh, opened up her home to throw a party uh, for him in his honor. Once he receives the award, there's going to be a party. And he doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to deal with the people admiring him and saying nice things about him and him having to give a performance, as he says. So he's very resistant to the idea. And, she, and Meryl Streep says, look, you don't have to do anything. Just sit there on the couch and smile at people and say hello. Okay, they're there for you. You don't have to do anything. And he says, like, well, you know, I mean, that's all fine and good, but I'm still going to have to deal with the hours after the party and the hours after that. And that's where the title of the movie comes from. Um, now, Julianne Moore's character, um, she is uh, a repressed housewife. Uh, she is um, secretly gay, I think. Uh, she's married to John C. Riley, but she, you know, uh, is, feels trapped in her life by the expectations placed on her as a suburban housewife. And um, she has a visitor, Tony Collette, who she's clearly interested in. Um, she stops by to say hello. Um, and she uh, is contemplating suicide, basically. And that's a similar problem to the Virginia Woolf character. I'm sure this is a, uh, based on the real Virginia Woolf, but of course this is a dramatization, so there's a degree of fictionalization there. Um, she lives in the suburbs of England, where she would prefer to live in London. However, she's had a lot of... Uh, uh, psychological problems. She's attempted suicide a couple of times, um, and her husband really wants her to stay out in the peaceful, quiet neighborhoods and not in the bustling city where um, hopefully she can, uh, you know, uh, live longer. And she's just like, this isn't life out here. Life is in London. I want to be in London, even though it is more dangerous for me to be there. Um, 
Of course, Nicole Kidman wore some makeup uh, to play Virginia Woolf, a prosthetic nose, and um, I really don't really see the point in that. It just looks like Nicole Kidman in a fake nose doesn't make her look like Virginia Woolf. Um, in the same way that Kevin Spacey's prosthetic nose did not make him look like Bobby Darren, it just made him look like Kevin Spacey with a fake nose, you know? I mean, there's plenty of um, uh, reasons to for an actor to be suitable in the part without having to try and make them look more like the actual person in the face. Um, like, for example, Jesse Eisenberg is Mark Zuckerberg. They didn't dye his hair and make him wear, have him wear makeup to look like Mark Zuckerberg. They just let him play the part, and he played it very well. Um... So, uh, so yeah, this is a kind of a complicated movie, um, but as I rewatched it, I felt like they could have just cut Virginia Woolf out of the movie completely. Um, there's parallels, of course, with each storyline, but um, really the meat of the movie is the Meryl Streep and the Julianne Moore um, storylines rather than, uh, than, uh, <laughs> than uh, the Virginia Woolf so much. I mean, she's there because obviously that character in the storyline is in the novel, so all three of the storylines from the novel are in the movie. But uh, I felt like her presence, the whole, her storyline wasn't nearly as significant um, as uh, the other two. However, since I rewatched it, I was very <laughs> surprised and had a good laugh over the fact that in one scene, Margot Martindale pops up. And Margot Martindale is actually main character in August Osage County, which I had just seen earlier in the day at the theater. Um, Margot Martindale plays Meryl Streep's sister. Meryl Streep plays the matriarch of a family, um, the patriarch who is uh, Sam Shepard, just died, basically. He drowned after rum falling out of his boat. Some of them think that he did it intentionally, some don't. Um, Meryl Streep's been married to him for a very, very long time. But she's quite a vicious character in this. And this, here's a good reason to like Meryl Streep, is that although Meryl Streep, it's common knowledge, is a very, very nice, warm, generous person, she can play a completely vicious character like this who's constantly putting down anything, everyone, including her own family, her own daughters. Um, uh, Julia Roberts plays her eldest daughter. She's married to Mew Ewan McGregor, but they're splitting up because he's uh, seeing another woman right now. He just doesn't want to deal with her anymore. Their daughter is played by Abigail Breslin. Uh, the middle daughter is Juliette Lewis. She's engaged to Dermot Maroney, um, who is a, you know, a fairly new guy in her life. They're planning on living in Miami, but uh, trouble starts when Dermot Maroney fixates a little bit on Abigail Breslin in a rather creepy way. The youngest daughter is played by Julianne Nicholson. At least, I think she's the youngest daughter. They say that she's like 50 in the movie, but man, she looks really, really good for 50. Um, if you don't know who Julia Nicholson is, she was in one of the CSIs, no, no, sorry, one of the Law and Orders, probably Criminal Intent. I'm not really sure which one. Um, she also played the main character in John Krasinski's directorial debut, which I don't remember the title for. Um, but uh, she's quite good in the movie. She has been having a secret affair with her cousin, <laughs> played by Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch is the son of Margot Martindale and her husband, Chris Cooper. Um, and so there's, there's a lot of shenanigans going on there and people are just like constantly putting each other down, ripping each other. Um, and, uh, and Meryl Streep is the leader in that. She's, she's sitting around the dinner table saying all nasty things about people and putting them down and telling them how they're not living up to potential. And then when people complain, she's just like, I'm just truth telling. I'm just truth telling. I'm just like, <sighs> obviously she doesn't value tact at all. You know, when Julie Roberts asks her, why are you attacking us? She's just like, you don't know a thing about being attacked, you know? I had to defend someone from, from beating my sister, Margot Martindale, who, and, you know, it was hitting her on the multiple head. She has dents in her skull. That's what being attacked is all about. And I'm sitting there going, well, there's other ways of being attacked, you know? There's verbal, there's psychological, there's all kinds of ways of being attacked. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, right from the very first scene, uh, Meryl Streep really sort of commands everything, you know. <laughs> she totally gets into this character 100%, and it's quite a sight. She is quite good in this movie. Um, and I'm not sure she's the front runner to win Best Actress here, but uh, she's got my vote. <laughs> she's really, really good. So, um, a, a, a moderate recommendation for The Hours and a very strong recommendation for August Osage County. It was directed by John Wells, who did uh, The Company Men, uh, with Ben Affleck and Tom Lee Jones and Kevin Costner, which came out a few years ago. He's also directed a number of episodes of the Showtime series Shameless, which is a really good show, one that I've enjoyed quite a lot. So that is my Meryl Streep video. We have a new theme starting tomorrow. That would be 
Mr. Antonio Banderas. I hope you'll tune in for that. And if you haven't already, uh, check out our Facebook page and the other videos from the guys here on Meryl Street. We, we have a few good reviews uh, for you to see. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.